you're working with a coach, there's a level of accountability. It's a success partnership. You know, what you put into it is what you will get out of it. So the first thing you need to do as your own life coach is to create a level of accountability. The, the next thing that you need to do as your own life coach is to focus on positive movement forward. You know, one of the main differences between coaching and let's say therapy is that, that therapy is really focused on the past. It's what happened to you that got you to this point where coaching is very progressive. It's saying, okay, this is where you are. Where do you need to go? So being your own coach requires that you know where you're starting. No different than when you're at a mall or at an amusement park and you're looking at the map and it says, you know, you are here. You need to know where you are and then you need to know your destination. And as your own life coach, you need to understand what that path is going to entail. You need to break it down into small and meaningful steps. You need to have milestones along the way that help you know that you're closer and closer to reaching your goal. And you need to have a level of, of clarity. Um, but to me, you know, no matter what, the best coaches have coaches. You know, I don't believe that any journey happens alone. So I think that even though it's important that you know how to be your own life coach, that you are open to collaborating because there's something to be said about two people or two or more people being focused on your goal. There's something about having that additional level of positive energy that helps you build a, a natural momentum. So I could speak personally and say that I work with a life coach for that, that reason.